Hi, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I am a Whovian and today I am reviewing Doctor Who, The Power of Crawl. So this is the 102nd story in Doctor Who. It is also the penultimate serial of uh, the Key to Time series, so the Doctor and Romana find themselves on a swamped planet where they look for the next, well, the penultimate piece of the key to time. And they soon find a mining operation with a crew going on around a swamp planet while there are natives there called Swampies, which are like green people, and they believe that they've disturbed the resting place of Gr Crawl there. God, only to discover that Crawl, well, not only is he the cause of all this stuff that it, it produces that the mining people want, uh, they also find that it is just a giant squid that's ingested and swallowed the segment of the key to time and it enlarged it. But for many centuries, the Swampies have believed it's their god. Um, so that's pretty much the essential story. So what did I like about this one? Well, um, you know what I'm going to say about Tom Baker. Spawn as the Doctor as always, with Mary Tum in a supporting role as Romana. Um, in this one we didn't have K-9. Uh, K-9 stayed on board the TARDIS. But we did have John Leeson in it though, in another role. This time playing an actual physical role of a, of a human, one of the crew members. Um, of the humans that are there. Um, we also see Swampies, which are like green, well, are green people, and kind of brought me back to like the 70s styled Hulk series. Um, and of course, I like the scenery and the setting as well. And Crawl, uh, you know, I mean, obviously it's all puppetry and that and, it, and stuff, and even the effects where it looks bigger. It's all on the blue screen, so pretty poor visual effects, but I actually like it. The effects for Crawl are like so bad they're good, in a way, so I like the effects for that on Crawl. Um, a unique creature, but of course it's like that because it's got the piece of the key to time that the Doctor and Romana are looking for. Um, of course, I also, you know, I actually like this serial. I didn't mind it at all. It was written by Robert Holmes, who was one of the show's writers, one of the finest writers, and I liked it. It's one of the good ones in this season, and I mean, there are some moments in there, some drama and some moments that don't really feel necessary, but I feel sometimes you've got to have that, but it's nicely paced, and it's a good serial four episodes and um, you know I believe this was the final story from 1978 because this one it took us into 1979 where the series at that point had concluded well were concluding with, the, with its final serial the Armageddon Factor which we will get to so yeah I think that's all I gotta say about uh, the power of cross so yeah, what do you think? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, before that, let's get to our ratings. So, performances, I'll give them um, a 9. The visuals, I did say they're so bad they're good in my case, so I'll actually give them an 8. Uh, the writing, an 8. My personal, an 8. I enjoy it, this one. It's a good one, so there you go. So that's it for this Who review. So... Like I said, I've been Davros the Whovian, and until next time, run for your life.